Welcome back, my friends. I'm going to start this video with a little clip of Ziggy just living his best life. This is an early Saturday morning. I must get some chores done today, and one of those chores is getting all of my winter decor out of my living room. I've got an empty tub in the kitchen to put it all in, so we're going to get busy getting that chore accomplished. I need to water my plants today, and thanks to Canvas.com for sponsoring a portion of my video today. I've got a great new picture that I'm going to put in the hallway, and I'm going to redo an area there in the hallway hallway before I put my canvas picture up. So today's video is full of some cleaning, motivation, and decorating inspiration. If you're new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. Okay, so like I said earlier, it is an early Saturday morning. Derek is out playing golf, so this is the perfect opportunity for me to stop real quickly and get all of this winter decor taken down. Now, I showed you some before shots of the living room, and then I'm going to show you some after shots, and it's going to be very minimal when I get everything taken down, but for about a week, I'm going to let it sit that way, and then I will have time next weekend to get everything good and deep cleaned. So, next week, come back, and I'll show you some really good deep cleaning here in the living room. Uh, last week's video, I showed you where I went out and did some spring shopping, and so I am getting prepared to do some spring decorating here in the house. Let me know in the comment section, do you still have your winter decor up? Um, I've left it up just as long as I could. I've got to get in the spring mood, even though it is super, super cold today in Texas. So this is a pretty good day to take everything down in the living room because it is so cold and dreary outside, but I am definitely ready for some spring mornings. My absolutely favorite thing to do when spring starts coming around is getting outside early in the morning and doing some yard work. So I cannot wait to film some of that for you guys. But today's video, we're staying inside today. Again, I'm getting all of my winter decor down. I'm going to get it in a tub and get it ready to take out to the shed. Then I've got a couple of more chores to do. I usually water my plants on Saturday morning. So this is the day I need to water my plants. So in a second, I'll kind of show you my routine of how I take care of all of my house plants. I mentioned last week I did some spring decorating in my master bathroom. I redid a shelf. I did a lot of fun things in there, so I'll link that video below. And I'll also link my playlist from my last year's spring clean and decorate video. That's just a great way to look at some old videos of mine and go ahead and get some spring inspiration going in your home if you're so ready to put up some spring decor. Okay, now that all the winter decor is taken down, I'm just going to quickly show you guys some after shots. Everything is very minimal here in the living room now. You know, I do love changing out my decor when it comes to changing of the seasons. Now, before I had my YouTube channel, though, I did not do that. I just pretty much kept my same decor year round. I'd add some new things every now and then, take away some things. So, I've had my YouTube channel now for about three years, and I so enjoy redecorating for every season, but I also enjoy when I take everything down and I'm able to deep clean a certain room, which is what I'm going to be doing here in the living room. Okay, now that I've showed you some after shots, let's work on watering my plants. Now, I have got several plants throughout the house, and I have this wonderful little water meter that I got off of Amazon, and if you can see here, this plant is extremely dry. You're also going to notice almost every plant that I checked today is extremely dry because I am so bad about overwatering plants. That's just my how I usually kill my plants is by overwatering them. So this water meter helps me really helps me not to do that. So um, again, I'm just going to put this little meter into each of my plants, and you're going to see that I think every one of them that I'm going to show you guys is extremely dry. Now, what I normally do is I take all my plants, I put them in the sink, I give them a good bath, I water them really good, but today I had so much to get done. All I'm going to do today is just check them to see if they need to be watered and take my little watering can and give them each a good watering. Now, something else I'm going to do today since I'm not going to be watering them in my sink and washing off their leaves is... 
I'm going to take some really wet paper towels and I'll wipe off the leaves of my plants and I'll show you in a second uh, how I do that. That really helps your plants guys if you will keep those leaves dust free. So these are my couple of tips for you today if you've got any live or if you've got any house plants in your house. Of course they're live. I don't know why I say live house plants. I don't really know how to say that. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you'll let them dry completely out and if you'll keep their leaves wiped off. And like I said, my plants really like it when I put them in the sink and give them a good bath. That little, um, what is that little sprayer you have in your kitchen sink? I'll spray them down with that and then let them drain really well in the sink and then put them back where they go. So that's what works best for my plants and y'all let me apologize for all the white flock that's on this black sweatshirt i should have known not to wear black today when i was taking down all my winter decor because a lot of it were um flock trees and so i've got flocking all over this black sweatshirt Oh, and one more tip I forgot to share with you guys is you'll see after I wipe down this plant, I kind of turn him around and face in the other direction. I'll do that to the plant in the living room also. Um, to me, it just kind of helps them grow. They kind of grow toward the sun anyway. So if you'll rotate your plant every time you water it, it will really help it to be more full. Somewhere down the line, we changed and we grew. Thank you, Canvas World, for sponsoring this portion of my video. Okay, now that I've got all of my plants taken care of, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek at my new canvas that was sent to me from Canvas World. When they reached out to me to actually show one of their products, I was so, so happy. You have the option of choosing from the wide selection of artwork that they offer, or you can send in your own portrait. Canvas World offers handcrafted custom canvases for discount prices. You have the option if you want to add a frame to your canvas if you choose to. And I added, as you can see here, the black frame to go along with all the black picture frames I have in my hallway. And I just love the way the black frame really adds such character to my canvas. They offer step-by-step -step instructions of how to design your canvas and it was super easy. Once I completed my order and submitted it, they also sent me a proof to read over and to agree to the proof before they ever start to print it. So if you mess up the first time you send in your order, you can definitely catch it when they send you your proof. All right, so Canvas World also gave me a discount for you guys. I'll put it here on the screen. I'll put it down below in my description box and also put a link that you can click on so you can go over to Canvas World's website and learn a little bit more about their company. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm showing you guys some before pictures of my hallway and I really want to take these shelves that are right here as you come out of my bedroom door, get everything off these shelves and get them wiped down. They are so, so dirty. I'll show you here in just a second. This is an area that I tend to kind of overlook. Even though I see it every day, I don't stop and dust it like I should. As you can see here, oh my goodness, it's super dirty. So we're going to take a second clean this area really well and then here is where I'm gonna put my new canvas I can't wait for you guys to see what picture I chose let's get this area wiped down and then I'm gonna give this little area like a little refresh I'm not gonna put these family pictures back up I'm gonna try something else so let's get the shelves wiped off and then let's give like I said this little area a little refresh really fast
All right, now that I've dusted these off and used some of my pledge to kind of help repel that dust, we'll get back at the living room and let me get my canvas opened up. I knew immediately as soon as Canvas World reached out to me what photo I wanted to use, and that's why I was so, so happy for them to reach out to me and display one of their products. I just always feel so honored when any company sends an email to me asking me to show you guys any product that they offer. And I really try to be limited and only show things that I believe you guys would be interested it in and I know I have so many people out there that would love to have a canvas like I just received now again you don't have to get a frame on it you could definitely get just a canvas all different sizes I got a smaller one because of where I was gonna put it but you definitely don't have to have a frame I do like it though that it already has one of those little eyes on there where you can just hang the picture immediately as soon as you get it however I'm gonna put mine on a shelf today so I really didn't need that feature but if I go to put it somewhere else another day I'll have it and ta-da here is the most precious picture ever for you guys that have been around um, here for some time you already know this but for you that are new we just had our fifth grandbaby her name is Lainey she belongs to my youngest son Jay and, and my wonderful daughter-in-law Vanessa this is their first little girl we had some issues when she was first born and she is now just healed by God and she is just a miracle we just she's had such joy to our family so I knew this was the picture I wanted to use as soon as they reached out to me and doesn't it look just great with that black frame so we're going to take that and get this added to the shelves and get some little decor on the shelves and kind of change up the hot area just a little bit. So I want to give y'all just a little bit more of a close up so you can really see the detail of this canvas. I was very, very impressed with it. So I want to say when you order your canvas or if you order a canvas, I would get this frame on there. It also comes in white because it just really adds a lot to this picture. Okay, so we're just going to prop this up on this top shelf. I think it looks perfect up here. It's just the right height and I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to add, and you guys know I love anything wicker and I thought this area needed a little bit of greenery so I'm going to add this sweet little wicker basket. And again, just keeping it very simple on this first shelf. I just really want that um, picture just to stand out. Okay, now let's move down to the bottom shelf. And all I'm going to use here is just two more family pictures. I have these beautiful little white frames that I'm going to use. I think really accents the black um, shelf really well. Uh, this is my daughter's family. My daughter has three of my grandchildren. Of course, Jay has Lainey. And then my son, Jonathan, that's in this picture. He has my son, JD, that you see a pretty good bit in my videos. He's now three. But that's one of my favorite pictures here of all the men in my life. And then just going to top it off with a very simple little fern with a little white bottom. And this, guys, is going to complete this little area. I love taking a little area and giving it a little refresh every now and then. Um, I love change when it comes to decor and all that in my home. So what do you guys think? I took it from kind of a drab look in the hallway and kind of spruced it up with this white and wicker going on here. All right, and I'm going to continue to dust the hallway because it usually doesn't get my attention as often as it should. I'm going to hang another wreath there on the uh, mirror in my hall. I needed to sweep and mop today, but I just did not have time to get it done, so that'll be for another video. I do want to thank Canvas World so much for sponsoring this video. I'm highly impressed with their company, and if you're interested at all in Canvas World, be sure to go down to my description box, go over to their company, check them out, and I've got a discount code if you'd like to use it. Of course, you do not have to use my discount code, but it will give you a little bit of discount on your order.
appreciate you guys so, so much for staying with me to the end and um, just helping me out by watching my video all the way through, hitting that thumbs up button, sharing this video with your friends, leaving me a comment, and subscribing if you haven't already. I just love you guys. You are just the best. Our little channel here just keeps growing, and it's all because of you. I appreciate you greatly. You'll see this video on a Wednesday, guys, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye.